Hey, good morning, Coyote Nation. Welcome to Monday, rainy Monday. It's supposed to rain all day, I guess, but uh, we need the water, right? Got to look at it positively. Hope you had a great weekend. We saw some interesting new football. Did you see that? Uh, what is it, the Alliance of American Football or something like that? The new, uh, they're trying to do some off-season football. A couple of leagues now trying to do this to pick up from the NFL, you know, when the NFL gets done to try to, you know, grab some of those uh, football fans and keep them in the NFL off-season for a while. It's been tried before. The USFL, the XFL hasn't worked before, but they're going to keep trying because there's so many football fans out there that miss football after, you know, the college season is done and the NFL season is done. So it'll be interesting to see if this makes it, if it picks up or not. Um, they've, uh, they've that old XFL put on by Vince McMahon, the wrestler, uh, is they're going to try it again next year apparently to uh to get it to go so we'll see how that all works out football trying to to keep that audience going um right now we've morphed into basketball postseason almost right so the high school ranks they start district tournament play next weekend for some of the classes in the next two weeks i think for all of the classes and so they'll be going into postseason uh, high school basketball tournament play and eventually crown some state champions. We'll see how that all works. And of course, in college, we've got March Madness coming up, uh, uh, the uh, Final Four and all that good stuff. So it's not looking great for the Mizzou men. They're having a very marginal season. Looking pretty good for the Mizzou women. Um, MSU women have been playing very well. The, did you see the, the finish for the, the uh, Missouri State Bears? They won on a last second half court heave yesterday and they've won five of their last six games. They're doing pretty well. They might have a chance to win their conference tournament maybe and get into the big dance. And then in Division Two, the Drury ladies are 23-0, and ranked number one in the nation. How about that? They could be a national champion quite possibly. So starting to get into basketball postseason now. So on this day in sports history, February 11th, uh, in 1966, been a while, that would be what, 53 years or so, San Francisco giant Willie Mays signed the highest contract per year at the time, $130,000. How about that? Uh, it was on this day in 1990 that James Buster Douglas, remember who James Buster Douglas was, the boxer? He uh, knocked out Mike Tyson in 10 rounds to w win the heavyweight boxing title. They had to fight that one like in Japan because nobody in the States thought it was a worthy enough fight to spend the money to put on the fight. So uh, what a shocker that was. A lot of people still calling that the biggest upset in sports history when Buster Douglas knocked out Mike Tyson. So the quote of the day comes from Mary Lou Retton, the Olympic gold medal gymnast. I think that was from the 82 Olympics. Uh, Mary Lou, it's short and sweet, just like Mary Lou, I guess. She says, a trophy carries dust. Memories last forever. A trophy carries dust. Memories last forever. Very insightful. Very cool. That is from Mary Lou Retinen. So it's supposed to rain all day. So uh, get your slicker out and stay dry and all that good stuff. But it's still a beautiful day in the Ozarks, isn't it? Be sure to join me right around 35 past the hour from 6.35 in the morning to 6.35 in the evening for your Renegade Radio Sports Updates. We have a lot of fun. Try to keep you up to date on all this great stuff going on in the area. Uh, we've got incredible shows for you on 107.9 The Coyote. Uh, be sure to uh, check out Casey and the Round Mound, 3 to 6 in the afternoon. They are greatness. A lot of fun, great music and everything. So uh, join us. If you haven't friended us yet on Facebook or liked us, whatever that is, be sure to do that. And you can go to our website too. We got some cool stuff for you on the website, which is just 1079thecoyote.com. I do a sports page for you to kind of try to keep you up to date on the sports stories, this video you can see up there, and a whole bunch of fun stuff. 1079thecoyote.com. 
www.thepeopleshow.com uh, is our website. So God bless you. Have a great Monday, and we'll be talking to you on the radio.